Hola mis amigos! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to access the accents for write, typing Spanish on your computer. Now the first way and probably the most common way is to use the character map. It's installed in every computer. If you have Windows 7 or Vista and you have a little search bar here, you can type in char and the character map will be right here. You can click on it and it will load the character map. If you have Windows XP or any other operating system, you can go to All Programs, Accessories, scroll down to System Tools, and Character Map. So let's load that up. You'll see that there are numerous letters with accents. For example, the N with a tilde is here. There's the I with the accent, the E, and the A, and the O as well. Now, if you want to use it, you just double click the N, hit copy, bring up Microsoft Word document, and we will paste our copied letter with the accent here. Now, we can do it that way, or you can note that every letter with an accent has a specific keystroke here. For example, Alt and 0241. So if you go here and you hold down the Alt button, and you type 0241 while holding on the ALT button, it will give you that specific letter with the accent. And you'll note that, for example, the N with the tilde is 0241, the I with the accent is 0237, etc. So if you want to make it easier for you, instead of having to bring up the character map, you can memorize these keystrokes, and then while you're typing, you can just do blah blah blah, 0241 for the N, and then OL. Oh well. Now, there's an easier way to do to type with Spanish letters, and that it would be to actually install a Spanish keyboard on your computer. Now, I know this works for, well, it's here for Windows 7, I'm not sure about Vista or Windows XP, but I have a little keyboard here. You'll see that in my keyboard I have US, Canadian French, and the Canadian Multilingual Standard. If we right click this keyboard, we can access the settings. You see under Installed Services, I have the English keyboard installed that includes the French. If you go to Add a Keyboard, they have a lot. And you scroll all the way down to Spanish, United States. We'll open this, open the keyboard and we'll select Latin American since that's the one we'll be using in class. If you want you can do Spain as well, it's up to you guys whichever one you want to use. So after you've chosen the Spanish keyboard you'd like to install, we click OK. Everything's alright, we click apply and we click OK. So now we go into our Word document, change this to Spanish make sure that our keyboard here is in Spanish as well and we'll be able to write Spanish letters now I will change this to Spanish here we go so for example if you hit the colon key instead of getting that's the key next to the L button but instead of getting a colon you'll actually get an N with a tilde and if you hit shift and that button you'll get a capital N with a tilde um, other examples are if you hit the equal or plus key, you get an upside down question mark. Or if you hit the shift, if you hit the plus or equals key while holding a shift key, you'll get an upside down exclamation mark. One last thing, if you hit the button with the bracket, the left bracket, if you hit that key and the letter, you will get the letter with the O. The, sorry, the letter with the accent on top. So if I hit again, this key, the bracket key, with an I, I get the I. If I hit this key again with an A, I get the A. So we can do it for, doesn't work for the N, we can do it for all the vowels. Anyway, I'm still new to this Spanish keyboard. I'm still kind of futzing around with it and figuring out um, what keys yield what letters in Spanish, but um, hopefully this will help some of you. If it does, then great. If not, well, 
to each his own. I mean, if you guys find a way that you can type in Spanish that suits you, then go for it. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you guys out, and I will see you in class.